to get, get it going then. Are we ready? And Anthony, Andrew, I'm sorry. Um, yes, I think we are. Sure, you all are all set on your end. Okay. Good afternoon and welcome to the seventh meeting of the CCSRC, excuse me, uh, council staff, please proceed with the roll call. Commissioner Connor. Present. Commissioner Westmoreland. Present. Commissioner Raymond. Commissioner Sturbcow. Present. Commissioner Hamilton. Commissioner Hill. Present. Commissioner Jones Williams. Present. Commissioner Baham. And Commissioner Jackson. We have five members and a quorum. Thank you very much. Uh, the COVID-19 pandemic continues to preclude us from meeting safely in a public forum. We must therefore continue to operate in this virtual fashion using the public comment guidelines outlined by the Louisiana Attorney General. Here are the public comment rules that we will follow today. At the beginning of the meeting, staff will read the agenda for today's meeting in its entirety. That agenda is also <laughs> online at council.nola.gov. We will then recess for 10 minutes to allow citizens to submit written comments for any agenda item. Anyone can fill out an online public comment form. Only written public comment will be accepted. Public comment will be limited to one comment per person per item. Comments should also be limited to two minutes when read aloud and be germane to the agenda item at hand. Public comment will be closed at the end of the 10 minute public comment period. No written comments will be accepted beyond that point. Before voting on an agenda item, council staff will read any public comment received for a pending agenda item. Uh, Paul, may, could you please read the agenda in full? It's audio. Here, I think you're, okay. You're on mute. I do this all day and I still get it wrong. <laughs> Apologies. <laughs> Street Renaming Advisory Commission of November 18th. Roll call, recess for public comment, approval of the minutes, CCSRC preliminary report drafting, expert panel update, CCSRC website update, CCSRC public engagement strategy update, and other matters. Thank you very much. And with that, we will recess for 10 minutes. Right, we'll back return. here at 316. Thank you very much.
Uh, Commissioner says it's been 10 minutes. Okay. Trying to get it together, Andrew. One second. I'm sorry. All right. Hello, everyone. Yeah, hey, call the meeting. Hello. I'd like to call the meeting back to order. Uh, we uh, established a quorum prior to going to the recess. I don't think we need to do a, another call of the um, uh, roll, uh, but Andrew, if you disagree, we can go ahead and do it. Um, otherwise, we'll move on with the agenda. Uh, so, uh, as, as usual, since our last meeting, we've had many uh, meetings with our partners and amongst each other, uh, but today will be the first time that we will have a quorum discussion on the matters on the agenda. Uh, commissioners, as usual, your feedback is welcome as we progress through the agenda. Uh, item number three, approval of the minutes. <clears throat> commissioners received a copy of the minutes from the October 21st meeting uh, via email. Are there any corrections or questions? Hearing none, Andrew, are there any public comments with regard to the minutes? There are none. If there are no corrections, uh, I'll entertain a motion to approve the minutes as distributed. I would like to move to approve the meeting minutes. From October 21st, thank you. Is there a second? A second. It's been moved and properly second that we approve the minutes from the October 21st meeting as distributed. Uh, if there are no questions, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. Hearing no opposition, the minutes are approved. Item number four, preliminary reporting drafting. So we're in the stretch run uh, to complete our work on the initial commission report to, for the city council. Uh, I've shared with each of you a proposed outline or structure for the report. Uh, all comments are welcome on that, uh, what, on what I shared. I've also sent the same structure to Al Schmidt from the Smears, Spears Group uh, for her input, and she will be assisting us with publishing this report. Uh, I, I, want, would you all, I want you all to please comment liberally on the structure uh, and so that we make sure that we uh, have it in a, in a, in a place that uh, makes the most sense uh, as we go to do this initial report, which is due on November 30th. Um, does anyone have any questions about the structure that I sent out or suggestions or comments? No. Okay. So uh, hearing, hearing none, uh, I like, like your, pardon? I was just going to say, Carl, I sent you a response in the email, but yeah. Oh, yes, I did see that. And I, uh, thank you. Um, and that goes with my next section of, uh, I was going to ask you all to please consider volunteering to contribute to the writing of a part or parts of the report. Uh, at a minimum, I need each of you to provide the following uh, by Monday, November 23rd, uh, as if you have it. A brief summary of your stakeholder engagements, including key groups and or constituents engaged topics discussed, any recommendations received, and any follow-up you made. Also, if you have recommendations for the commission to consider based on those engagements, please include that as well in your brief summary. Uh, your initial recommendations, I also need your initial recommendations for the new names of the streets, parks, and places as identified by the expert panel. Uh, L. Smith is working currently on <laughs> a survey to send to us all hopefully we'll have Friday so that you can go on and uh, you know, look at all the streets that were suggested, the options that the experts gave us, 
uh, rank those. If you want to add something that isn't presented already, you can add that as well. You'll be able to add that as well uh, and include that in your ranking of the suggestions that are there. Uh, this will help us prepare to have an actual discussion about um, what we want to put in the report as our recommendations. Um, Andrew, this may be a question for you. Uh, I would like to, uh, if we could get that list out to everybody on Friday and have it returned by Monday the 23rd, uh, try to have a, a meeting, it would be, it'd be a public meeting because we need everyone to attend to have the conversation about uh, putting on recommendations for the uh, street names. Given uh, that next week is uh, uh, the last, I guess it is Thanksgiving week, isn't it? Yeah. Am I get, yes, it yeah. is Thanksgiving week. Uh, and the report, initial reports due on the 30th. Um, I'd, I'd like to try to have us to meet no later than maybe Wednesday, the 25th, uh, if you all are, uh, can do that so that we can just go through the recommendations so that we know what we're adding in the report in this initial report. Uh, as a caveat, just to remember, this is just the initial report. So we will be you know, going in and refining it and also adding um, uh, to it and, and editing it as well if we need to going forward. So, uh, you know, don't, while we need to have the, take obviously these recommendations to heart and seriously, you know, there's opportunity to make changes to it after this. So in this first meeting, if we can have it on Wednesday the 25th, it would be, uh, you know, great to, to go through the list that we have, rank those and uh, make our choice of recommendations to put in the report. Um, and then again, if we get new streets or new suggestions following that, we can certainly go back in and, and talk about them again for the final report. Would you uh, want to do that, Carl, at the same time on, uh, on Wednesday? I mean, this time works for me. Earlier would be a challenge, so. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, and, and I'm, I, would, I would hope uh, that since we've kind of established this Wednesday, that it might be best for everyone. I guess all we really need is to know if, uh, if Andrew could find out if we can use the, the council Zoom at that point uh, to do this. Um, uh, let me um, let me check too with sort of where we're at with staffing. I know next week it's a little bit more bare bones uh, because it's Thanksgiving week. So if I can circle back to you guys and um, maybe we push it a little bit earlier in the week if possible, uh, yeah. it might be better. So I, I will let me let me check some stuff on my end and I will get back to you. Okay, okay, uh, I appreciate that. And, and commissioners, if you would all try to be uh, kind of flexible with us a little bit and supportive so we can get this initial thing uh, done and out the door. Um, you know, I, it's one of my pleas to you all today was just going to be to bear with us over the next two weeks um, or week and a half because, you know, we are, we're in a stretch run and a lot of the things that I'm asking for today, you know, obviously I've been asking for uh, for a couple of uh, about six weeks now. So, you know, hopefully some of this stuff you've already put together so you can get it to us. Uh, and then your thought process on the names that have been given to us already by the experts and the information that you have been able to see from the website uh, additions from the public comment, hopefully you're absorbing all of these things and the, also from the community meetings uh, so that when you get this survey, you can consider all of that as you look at the, the choices that have been given to us to date. Um, but if any of you are, are able to, um, to assist in writing any section so far, I know that Commissioner Hill has uh, sent a response already and uh, Commissioner Raymond has already mentioned to me you know, that he was interested in helping with a piece of this as well. Uh, but if you could all please let me know as soon as possible, preferably today, uh, if you can assist in the writing and in which section you have interest. Um, yeah, we, so our goal again is to get this initial report to the council uh, November 30th, uh, which is kind of a solid date. We've got to do that. Uh, and then within a month of that, we have to hold the public meeting as required by the ordinance. 
So, uh, you know, we'll have a little time in between the, submit, the uh, submission that we give to them on the 30th, but it needs to be as complete as we can make it. Um, is it, is, and I think I've asked this already, but if there's no discussion about the format for the or the structure of the of the document, um, then we can move on. And that's true question, Carl. I don't know if this is the right place or time, but um, <laughs> should we make an effort to I don't know phone the other commissioners? I mean, I, you know, I know. Sometimes it's confusing if you have regular email that you look at and you maybe not remember that you have this Gmail account associated with being on the commission. I'm just concerned that, you know, that others are not necessarily up to speed or weighing in. I just wonder if we should make a phone call to them or what, what do you recommend? Because I think right now, so, so that you are the council districts represented. Right, and, 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 and as, as you may or may not know, you know, we have uh, had outreach to uh, all the commissioners throughout this process in multiple ways. Uh, and Andrew has helped facilitate conversations through the, so that they could also reach out to the members of the commission who had been a little uh, less active to make sure that they were aware of what was going on and they needed to check in as well. So, you know, yes, we, we can certainly do more outreach to them and should and will, uh, but, um, you know, there's been ample opportunity for input. Uh, will, yeah, but, but, but I agree with you, we, we should continue to, to have that outreach. Commissioner Raymond, I'm sorry. I was gonna say, I, I reached out to um, council member Brissette today uh, about doing some more outreach in District D um, and also Councilwoman uh, Moreno. Struggling with my words today, everyone. Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. So thank you. Thank you for that. Uh, so, uh, our, Andrew, were there any public comments on this particular agenda item? Uh, yes, there were. Um, yeah, we have one from uh, uh, Justin Schmidt, uh, not a paid representative. Uh, I believe, sorry, let me just make sure I have this right. Okay, I believe that all of our uh, all of us owe a duty to one another to strive to make our city both great and good. And while it is certainly possible to think of great and good as separate categories and to identify examples of achievements or initiatives that fall into one or another, I tend to think of them as intertwined. To me, this means striving not just for excellence, but excellence for the purpose of advancing the common good of all of our citizens. However, to do this, we must absolutely must be a community that is diverse, inclusive, and equitable. Diverse because talent exists all around the globe and within every demographic, and because the very best ideas emerge from the consideration of diverse viewpoints and perspectives. Inclusive and equitable because it's the right thing to do, and also because we will not reach our full potential as a community if we do not provide every member of it with opportunities to reach their full potential. And for that to happen, all of us, every one of us, should feel at home here, fully welcome, and with truly equal opportunities to grow, succeed, and lead. The challenge of achieving racial equity is as old as our city. It is as is the persistence of racism. Meaningful steps were started in April 2017 with the removal of four prominent statues memorializing Confederate leaders or the Confederacy. But the topic received renewed and intense attention, attention earlier this year in the wake of the May 25th killing of George Floyd at the hands of the police and the protests that followed. The city council immediately took action in drafting and introducing legislation with the goal to further eradicate through the work of this committee, other vestiges of the Confederacy found in the names of public spaces designed to remind us of this shameful time. Our very existence today traces back to the battle in New Orleans and our cities and country's victory over the British under the leadership of Andrew Jackson. We should recognize and celebrate those who work to pr preserve our relatively new freedom and not those who actively work in opposition to it. This does not mean, of course, that only those without flaws should be celebrated as we would, um, sorry. Two minutes. That's actually two minutes. 
Uh, commissioners, this does go on for uh, longer. I will be uh, sending this directly to uh, your email so that you can read the entire thing and uh, making sure it's part of the public record. Appreciate that, Andrew. Thank you very much. Uh, commissioners, is that all the commentary on this section? If so, we can move on to item five, agenda item five. Expert panel update. Of course, again, we're very thankful for our panel of experts who have been working really hard, uh, especially under the over the last month with the weather emergencies as well as the uh, power outages and internet outages. I know that made the work a little bit harder uh, as you all were in your stretch run of trying to finish uh, your your reporting. Uh, but we really appreciate all the efforts that you've given to date including that uh, Herculean effort to get through that. So with that, I would uh, ask Sue Mobley and Thomas Adams if they could give us an update. Hi, uh, Sue, do you wanna start? I can, sorry, I mean, I have folks, I'm in uh, the Historic New Orleans collection doing my own research, which means when I'm being masked right now. So hopefully that doesn't make it too hard to talk. But Sue, I'll let you start and I'll add anything. Um, Thomas, I particularly like the polka dotted mask. Thanks. <laughs> We are currently working on finalizing our report to you all. Um, we have 114 profiles of New Orleanians for the 39 streets that are to be renamed. There are 13 outstanding essays that we are working on gathering from their authors over the next couple of days. And we are in the process, um, Thomas and I, of fact checking and editing cleaning up language and presenting a common tone throughout. Um, you commissioners have access to the document at the moment because I want you to be able to look at um, what has been done as you're making your recommendations. It has been very satisfying to look at the public comments and to see how many of the names that people are proposing are already um, within the document. The report is currently um, 131 pages, not inclusive of our report on the streets to be removed. I promise you that my goal is to have the final be 150 pages. I promise you that it will not exceed 180 pages and that it will be uh, in its final form to you by the meeting on the 25th. Thank you. Um, yeah, and just to add commissioners, as you go through that document, if, um, again, we're still in the process of editing, so take some of that language. Again, that's not the final versions, but yeah, we're sitting at about 80,000 words right now in terms of production of this thing, which is a long book length document that we've assembled in six weeks. So again, to thank you so much to Sue and to the help of Commissioner Connor in particular in helping us get some research assistance. You're welcome, I'm glad, I'm glad. That we are where we are. You all have really been lifting heavily. Um, so we, we do appreciate that. Uh, uh, Sue, I had a question for you. Um, you said that the there are 39 streets and 114 essays? Yes? Okay. Um, would, could you do me a huge favor and, if possible, today, send to L. Smith those streets and the choice make sure that she, so make sure she has the complete list of those streets and the choices because mm -hmm. uh, so she's she's going to be putting together this survey to send to the commissioners by friday i'll, I'll send a copy to you all too of course so you can uh, see what, what it's there and make sure that it's contemplating everything that we know right now at least um clear that there may be some additions later but we can figure work that that in later but if you could get that to her that would be perfect please Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Uh, do, do you all have more to report? No, this is no, the briefest than... report you all have ever had. <laughs> Deep gratitude to all of the many, many New Orleans writers, reporters, students who have contributed to this process, which has been um, a bear. <laughs> to say the least. Yes, but it, but you know the list of people you all have worked with is impressive. It is widespread, uh, you know, geographically as well uh, in terms of the institutions that the folks on that list represent. Um, I mean, it, it's impressive. I, I really looked at it all at once yesterday for the first time, I guess, and not just the pieces, parts, and emails. 
So, uh, you know, this, this is exactly, I think, what the council had contemplated when they asked you all to be a part of this, to make sure that this was a learned effort, a uh, scholarly effort, rather, to uh, look at what we needed uh, to, to change and, and have great information to base that on. So I greatly appreciate your work again. Well, um, I would like to add that, you know, I think when this is all said and done, with a major emphasis on the report that Sue and Thomas have done, the Spears group or whomever, you know, does the, the PR for the city, this effort and this report should be widely um, touted and shared. I mean, not just here and not just in Louisiana, but across the country. I think this is so remarkable what you all have done. And, um, and again, I, every chance I get, I've shared this with people far and wide. Um, and I, I get amazing feedback from folks, but I think this is something that, that the city can really celebrate. And you know, we've, we've been in conversation with some folks in Richmond, Virginia, that may want us to, to help them with some of these efforts. And, you know, um, believe me, you know, for them to see something like this, um, it would only help others, you know, uh, others who, who might be tackling something like this. So I just hope that, that we can have the city council and, and, and the mayor uh, and whoever does consider public relations and communications figure out how to get this out there and celebrate it. Yeah, that's definitely the intention. Uh, Commissioner Hill, Commissioner Raymond and I had a meeting with the Spears group earlier this, uh, this that was this week, I think, or if it wasn't this week, it was next week, last week, rather. Uh, but we, we met with them to talk about that very thing, about making sure that this stuff is disseminated uh, widely. And we're not talking just nationally, we're talking internationally, because, you know, you can change the, na the names change, but people around the world grapple with the same issues, right? Uh, somehow, uh, you know, it, it's often thought that America just perfected these issues a bit more than others. But, um, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a lesson to be learned here. And, and, and we hope that this is the educational piece that outlives this commission's task, right? So, um, you know, Commissioner Raymond and I had a really good conversation with the Spears group about getting that out uh, in multiple media channels. So. Okay, uh, Andrew, are there any public comments on this particular agenda item? Uh, so we do have a public comment item, but it is, it's actually in my email, which has crashed. Um, uh, so I am working on resolving that immediately. It has also been in a, um, it's from Nathan Chapman. It has also been submitted to the website. So we do have record of it in a couple different places. I apologize for not being able to get this open right now. I'm working on it. Okay, you know, I appreciate that. Uh, we understand, trust me, this, <laughs> we're, we're all operating differently. Um, so are there any other comments from commissioners? Uh, on, I just on this? also extend my, my many thanks to Sue and Thomas and the panel of historians who've been working tirelessly uh, through this process and, and really doing a lot of legwork. Uh, <laughs> we won't fully understand the weight of this moment of what we're doing until it's done when people say that we made history. And I think it's so important that we also reflect now as we are making these decisions and we are doing this work. Um, so thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, this has been amazing to work with you all and do this. So thank you. If there are no other comments from the commissioners, are you, are you up and running? Yeah. Thank you. Yep. Okay. Um, so uh, this is from uh, Nathan Chapman, not a paid representative. All I would like to express my heartfelt appreciation to everyone volunteering their time to serve on or to support this commission. The work you are doing is important. I understand that the commission is focusing its renaming suggestions on uh, for the city council on individuals who in the past may never have been considered for having a street named after them. This is a worthy approach. For one particular street, Governor Nichols in the historic French Quarter in Treme, would the commission be open to one additional idea? Because these two neighborhoods are so historic and that history draws visitors from across the globe to New Orleans, 
please also consider returning the name it had for almost 200 years prior to being renamed for Governor Nichols, Hospital Street. Hospital Street would not only be a historical choice, it would once again honor the groundbreaking contribu contributions of the Ursuline nuns to the city of New Orleans. They did so much for the indigenous and enslaved people of this city. A history of the street name is being prepared by a, a local respected historian. As you will see in the past, there have been efforts to return the name to Hospital Street as it was for almost two centuries. Now is the opportunity to finally correct something that should have never been done. Thank you for your consideration, Nathan Chapman, Bucare resident. Perfect. Thank you very much. Uh, if there are no other public comments to read, um, we'll move on to item, agenda item six, website update. Unfortunately, no one from the Spears group was able to join us today, uh, but they did provide an update. Um, and, and, and instead of reading the whole thing, I'll just break basically give you a quick summary. So they have gone back in and made the changes to the website that we had requested previously uh, so that uh, it was more friendly, particularly in regard to the way the information is collected from the public comment forms uh, so that it's listed according to district so that we can, uh, as we attach that to our uh, report, uh, it'll show the city council members what comments came from their districts. Um, the, they also or have also developed a social media calendar uh, to help disseminate the information that we have going forward on all the city's existing channels, as well as the website that they created for us and uh, other media that they will try to uh, attract uh, you know, uh, unearned media, that is, that they'll try to attract with the work product that we provide to the city. Um, I, I'd like to thank the Spears Group because they really have been very helpful, uh, particularly Al Smith, who's uh, done uh, a great job trying to help us organize uh, these ideas and thoughts and, and comments that we're getting, uh, as well as the collection thereof from our public uh, uh, access that we've we've had. Um, the, she's currently, as I said, working on the survey for the commissioners to use to look at all the suggestions that will, were provided to us by the experts and uh, to have us go in and be able to fill it out if we have additional uh, suggestions that we want to add as well. You'll be able to put those into this sur survey as well. Uh, and we'll have that conversation uh, on, on next week. Um, the, They've also, of course, gotten us some news coverage already, particularly based around having the website back up in full. And it's been primarily statewide uh, uh, coverage, uh, as well as one uh, story that was beyond the state of Louisiana. Um, the conversation that Commissioner Raymond and I had with them earlier this week, in that conversation, we discussed the want to do some, some more uh, national media as well uh, as we wrap up this uh, report and get it in. So they'll ramp up that as well. Uh, does anyone have any questions about the website update or the Spears Group's and engagements? If not, are there any part, public? Carl, just for some clarity on my part, I, I know yes. that I just we just received a link I think that's Sue and Thomas's report that that uh, Google Doc. Yes. Um, is what you're talking about a different document that the Spears Group is preparing for us to review? We're supposed to review Sue and Thomas's report and something else, or I'm just looking. So, so Sue and report. Thomas's report will be complete, obviously, along with the background information on on the names of the folks that are being suggested. What Elle is going to send us. Is basically a survey that says the street name, the choices that were given to us by the experts, and then also with an ability for you to add uh, a, a, a different or an additional name if you have one on your own or if you received in your outreach to the public names that you think should be added as well so that we can just have that all in one place to discuss when we vote the recommendations for the names next week. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, so we should be getting that, you said, on Friday? Yeah, then? she's, she's going to, she thinks she'll have it turned around to give to me uh, tomorrow to proof, 
So if that happens, you'll either get it tomorrow afternoon or by Friday at the latest. Great. Um, and and it, you know, it'll be a drop down menu. So it should be fairly easy to go through uh, and, 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 you know, get, get through it fairly quickly with the caveat that if you need more substantive information about the individuals that are, are being suggested, uh, that you go back to Sue and Thomas's document to look at that. So, you know, that might take you a little more time to go back and forth to, to get that information. Well, um, that, will, yes. that docu will that document include the suggestions that we're getting through the website from the public? So if, if, if yes, if it's, uh, let me back up. The short answer is yes. The long answer is I'll tell you exactly tomorrow <laughs> when I get the draft. <laughs> but here's the good, the beauty of this though, Paul, is that the public's suggestions have been tracking very well with what we've gotten from the experts. Good. So, you know, that, that tells us that what we're doing is the right thing, right? We've done this in a thoughtful way uh, that is meaningful because it really has primarily without, you know, there's some one-offs, right? Where, um, as you know very well in Lakeview, there are some suggestions of thematically naming streets after flowers and things of that nature. So, you know, that, that hasn't necessarily shown up in the expert suggestions, but, you know, where, they, where that isn't present, uh, when you receive it, you certainly, as the person who has been in those meetings and heard those suggestions, will have the ability to add that okay. so that we all have the benefit of those individual engagements from the district district, different gotcha. districts, as we talk about it collectively. Gotcha. Okay, great. Okay. Thank you. All right. Uh, any other questions, commissioners? Comments? Sue? Um, for ease of access, I will um, download our report in, in process um, and send it to you all as a fixed PDF so that you're not having to go in and out of a Google Drive. Thank you very much. We greatly appreciate that. Um, Andrew, is there any public comment on this item? None. Uh, commissioners, if you do you have any other comments or questions? If not, we will move on to our next agenda item, uh, number seven, which is the public engagement strategy update. Uh, since our last meeting, as I've been mentioning all along, we've had some, uh, we've had uh, seven meetings so far with community groups and or uh, key stakeholders from council member districts. Um, and I didn't ask you earlier, so I'm sorry, uh, Bobby, so please forgive me. If you, if you can, I can do it. But if you could give us a quick update on, you know, what we've been doing since the last meeting with that outreach. Um, yes, as you mentioned, um, thank you to, to um, a number of the commissioners work in um, outreach to um, both key constituents and also neighborhood association leaders. So we've actually um, approached that in two ways. Um, when we have a list of constituents, um, an example actually would be what uh, Commissioner Westmoreland had a number of people who both he had both contacted as well as contacted him. Um, and we invited those people to a Zoom meeting um, hosted on the council's Zoom account. And, um, and then the other option has been to uh, attend existing and scheduled neighborhood association meetings um, and be on their agendas. Um, and basically our presentation has been the same in both. We have told people uh, the charge of the commission. We have shared with people um, that uh, uh, the policies for um, uh, the requirements or the, the criteria for a street to be renamed as well as the criteria for a new name to be selected. And additionally, we have um, talked about uh, the report from our um, experts and, and both in terms of uh, the history of those names, uh, those streets to be changed, as well as their work on recommending um, uh, three options for each of the of the streets or places to be renamed, and also the fact that 
Uh, we spend a lot of time talking about the website and people's um, accessibility to that, encouraging them to go and to um, visit the website and to please submit their comments and suggestions. So I have to say that, you know, all the meetings have been really <laughs> quite wonderful and informative and people have been very um, interested and uh, for the most part, very supportive of the efforts, and um, and it's been it's been really um, it's been really a nice experience thus far. So, I think we have another meeting uh, this week um, with yes. some constituents from Council C, and um, and then uh, we will have the meeting with the um, Lakeview Neighborhood Association, um, I believe on the 30th. And I don't think there's anything else scheduled that I am aware of. Is that correct? Uh, yeah, that's correct. And uh, just so everyone knows who hasn't been a part of all the calls, um, you know, we've had to date meetings with constituents who reached out to Council Member Banks's office in District B, uh, the University Neighborhood Association, on the October 27th, Carrollton United on October 28th, Carrollton Riverbend on October 29th, Audubon Community Meeting on November 9th, Central Carrollton Association on November 10th, uh, key stakeholders from Council Member Williams District, uh, I'm sorry, not district, but Council Member who reached out to Council Member Williams, uh, and then the Lakeview and Pacific Improvement Association, which will be a big one coming up on the 30th because most of the, they have a lot of streets impacted obviously. And as you can see from the associations that we've engaged as well, and I wanna thank Commissioner Sturbko uh, for uh, getting out there and, and really uh, making sure that the constituents of District A knew what was going on and, and, and invited us into their meetings to talk to them about what we were doing uh, because the majority of the streets being changed are in their district. So uh, it's crucial. it was crucial to make that contact with them. There are still others that we would like to go reach out to and have meetings. Uh, Commissioner Raymond and I are trying to work on a few of those, including uh, the Take Them Down NOLA uh, folks. And so, uh, you know, we encourage you all, if you still have other groups that we should reach out to based on your council member um, district uh, outreach, uh, folks, please, please get with us and, and let's schedule that and get it done. Even if it doesn't make it into this initial report, it can be added when we do the final report. Um, All right. Uh, Andrew, did I already ask you if you had any comments on this one? No comments. Okay. I have a, I have a comment. Yes. Connor. I was wondering if we can add an additional meeting to this Saturday. Uh, for engagement with District D and some other members, maybe an hour prior to the, the, the meeting that's already scheduled. Okay. Uh, Is that me... possible? Yeah, all things are possible when we're trying to make it happen. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, Saturday. Commissioner Hill, I don't know what your schedule is like. Um, this Saturday, the 21st. Um, hold on a second. That's how I was looking to you. Finally? Oh, yes, well, that's the, well, we did have that initially as the lake right. that you've moved that one. So but it's been moved, yeah. We, yeah. Don't, we don't have anything now um, that I know of on Saturday. Right, we don't. It was that Lake the Civic Improvement Association right. meeting and it got moved. Right. So, I mean, we can fill that that spot on Saturday with, with the District D folks, if you'd like. That'd be great. I don't know if everyone else is available, but um, you know, at this stage of the game, if we can make the meeting happen, I think those of us who can attend should attend and get it on record, uh, and and we can, you know, uh, brief everyone who can attend on what happened. Now, the real question is: Are there is there a Zoom meeting that they have or can facilitate that we jump on to, or do we need to try to figure out if it's possible to use the cities? Now on Saturday, I'm sure that might be an issue, uh, but wh where are you with that, Mark? Do you know if they're able I, to host our meeting? I think we would need to host it. Okay. We have an account that we can use. Okay. Is this a regularly scheduled meeting for them or is this specifically for this effort? It would be specifically for this effort. Okay. 
Okay. okay. Could you, um, uh, as possibly today, of course, get to Andrew uh, and Bobby and I the list of people who would be attending? Um, Andrew has been graciously sending out the, the links inviting people to register to get on the Zoom call. So, um, you know, we need their uh, email address, correct, Andrew? Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. So you can send that out. So okay. are, we, are we shooting for a 10 o'clock then? 10, 10 a.m.? Yeah, that's what we had for the That's other. what the other was said for, yeah. Uh, that, that's fine for me. Okay, perfect. Perfect. All right, so if you could get that to us, uh, Commissioner Raymond, that would be great to, uh, so we can plan accordingly. Any other comments, commissioners? Hearing none, uh, we will, oh, well, still on the uh, engagement. Commissioner Raymond or Westmoreland, do you have anything you want to report? And I see Westmoreland's not here. The report on the uh, media outreach. I know, Commissioner Raymond, you had a potential interview scheduled this week. I don't know if it actually happened. I have two interviews scheduled for next week, one with WWL and one with WDSU. Um, again, trying to drive as much community engagement uh, and outreach into the website, driving people to the website as possible. Thank you. And, uh, and, and I know you received from the Spears Group some uh, supporting materials for that as well. Yeah. Uh, but uh, if you, and I'll send it to you offline, but we can add to that emphasis, some emphasis on the work that Thomas and Sue are doing to wrap up now. Because uh, that, that, that was a heavy lift, and I know I keep saying it, but that was a heavy lift for, for you know, we, we, we have a lot to do in our regular day jobs as well, but so do they, but they've done a really a full-time job on top of their full-time job, yes, getting have. us the supporting materials we need. But again, that fits in line with what we're doing, because the spirit of New Orleanians is get it done. You know, may look like we're doing it easy, but we get it done, right? So, you know, I appreciate everything that everyone is doing in this in that realm. Um, we got a little bit more to do, so uh, stick stick with me and take your vitamins. Um, Carl, Carl, sent you. Is, is that is that Rich? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. So there he is. I couldn't see his name up. Yeah. Yeah. No, I've I've been here the whole time. Um, oh, thank you. Thank you. you. You know, since you brought it up. The, um, you know, the community outreach, you know, for me, I, I, you know, we've been hearing a lot from people that agree with what we're doing and a lot less from people who disagree. And, and I think that's kind of the, you know, I, I, I don't know. I think, I think maybe uh, what we've been doing here is kind of being underground. I don't, I don't think it's as publicized and part of that's probably due to COVID. But, um, um, you, you know, I, I, I mean, to me, I, I, I am highly interested in, in talking to people who disagree with us. Uh, and, and, you know, I don't think you're necessarily going to win a lot of converts in that, uh, in that crowd. Uh, I, I can promise you I've talked to a, a lot of them in the past. But, you, you know, I mean, until we're done, you know, I, I mentioned that I think uh, – to, to maybe you and Mark before uh, via email, or maybe Mark and I were texting or talking. I, I can't remember, but but places like WGSO, where where our uh, opponents on this issue and a lot of other issues, uh, you know, those who disagree with us, uh, where, where, where they hang out, where they uh, listen to, I, it, it wouldn't be hard to go on there. Uh, you know, I, I, I can I can I'm sure I could get us on, but. Uh, um, you know, and, and, and I think it would probably be worth our while. I think it'd be shocking to some of you to, to hear some of these opinions. Uh, I mean, you know, the, the, these are a lot of, you know, not only Trump voters, but David Duke voters. Uh, mm -hmm. And, you know, that's, uh, I think I, I maybe mentioned somewhere along the line, I, it's hard to keep it all straight, but, you know, back when we were, you know, having the original fight in 2015, uh, somebody made me aware of, uh, of, of these folks and, uh, you know, I'd, I'd call in or not necessarily call in, but listen in. And, you know, some of the comments about, you know, the Confederacy and, and, you know, taking down the monuments. I mean, it, it was staggering. Uh, and to me, you know, I, I'm, I, I think those people are, 
an important piece of this. And even, even if in the end they all disagree with us, uh, I, I think it's, there's a legitimacy issue and, you know, uh, n just at least not discounting the opinions of some of these folks, but, but if anybody's interested, I mean, you know, I've thought of doing it. And like I said, I, I've done it several times in the past. I've been on the, yeah. that show with the guests and I mean, it, you know, it gets heated, man. Um, but, uh, you know, if, if you, anybody's interested in doing it again, I, I'm pretty sure I could, I could, uh, I could look, get some let's set it up, Commissioner Westmoreland. I, I mean, I agree with you, which is also, you know, we're trying to get the opinions from every angle of this. Uh, particularly, you know, interested in getting them before we send this this report out. Obviously, um, okay. so you know, if you can set it up, I'm, I'm more than happy to jump on it with you. And you know, I, I you know, I think I sent this to you before. You know, the same, all the people you're talking about are are people that I went to school with. So <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> talk I, about I it very civilly. I mean, we really, you know, we don't we don't often agree uh, on the outcome, but you know, but that's the whole point. It's just can we air our opinions about this in a constructive way. So we at least both understand each other, uh, even if we don't come to a conclusion that is, is unified, right? So, um, you know, more than happy to do it, more than happy to get that point of view. So if you yeah. can, yeah, if you wanna reach out, just let me know when and we can make it happen. I'll, I've uh, got some blood pressure, so I wouldn't mind doing that either. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and, and to be honest, you know, this, as, as Commissioner Hill said earlier, you know, it hasn't been a complete love fest. I mean, I spent two hours and 17 minutes that I'll never get back in life on the phone with a disgruntled constituent who I actually, at the end of the conversation, the, the constituent said to me, you know, that they will continue to think what they think, but they were really happy to have had the conversation to understand where I was coming from, right? <laughs> So, and, and that's it. Right and that's there. it, that's exactly. It. And that's the hat trick, right. Now, you've you got to be willing to, to do the work to get there. I mean, it was two hours and 17 minutes. But, you know, that's, that's all we, that's what we kind of signed up for, in, in a sense, right? So um, I'm fine with that. I, and I, again, I have these conversations all the time with people that I went to, went to high school with in particular. So, you know, it, it's not a, ever an issue for me to have the conversations. So Yeah, well, I, you know, I, I think it's... Uh, it's important to at least realize, you know, I mean, we, we sit on these, uh, these calls and the Zoom meetings and it, it seems like, you know, man, th this has been, th this is totally uh, different than what I expected because uh, like I said, back in, back in 2015, man, you know, I, I mean, I could show you guys some letters that would blow your socks off that I, that I was getting and, uh, you know, phone calls and, you know, people calling my work. And uh, I mean, you know, th this was, uh, uh, you know, I, I, I kind of felt like it was a 90% uh, against and 10% for uh, what we were doing back then. And now it seems like it's the opposite, which yeah. is great. But I think it's, I, I think, you know, COVID is uh, painting a slightly less than your picture of uh, the, the, the citizenry and the, the opinions. I mean, you know, let, let, let's face it, man. Uh, uh, you know, maybe not in New Orleans, but Louisiana uh, went went for Trump uh, by big numbers, and you know, they're, they're probably not two percent of Trump voters that uh, would support changing names or, or pulling down monuments. And, and to me, those are the people. Those are the people I want to talk to most. I don't want to talk to people that agree with me all the yeah. time. Although it is. Uh, refreshing uh, to find so many more now uh, than in 2015. But, uh, um, but, but, but I think it's important to tell uh, and because they don't hear it. They don't hear the contrary opinions and they don't hear the reasons why we're doing what we're doing and the reason why we should do it and, and uh, the, you know, the validity behind it. So uh, mm -hmm. and that, that's, that's the only reason why I, I did it before. Was because I wanted to be in the open about what I was doing. and Didn't want to feel like I was sneaking around. Of course, we're we're not now, but uh, mm -hmm. but uh, it, it would be good for us to hear that side. I'll, I'll definitely reach out to the show host, and uh, I'm pretty sure uh, I, I know his uh, his ratings go. He told me the ratings go up when I was on before because <laughs> so many, you know so many people would get fired up and uh, 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 you know want to go on the attack about it. But uh, and, and that's okay. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, I'll let you guys know. Perfect. Well, and as the eternal optimist, Commissioner Westmoreland, people evolve. 2016 is, you know, a lifetime away from 2020. 
with a whole bunch of life intervening conditions in between that may have made some people rethink, you know, some of the things that they were holding dear, right? So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm gonna be the optimist and hope that that is largely the case, that you're able to see things more clearly when you're forced to look at them through the lens of adversity, right? So, um, you know, we'll move forward, we'll do what we need to do uh, and, and get, because you're right, we have to have that opinion included here because there's plenty of time for people to protest about it. We're not done just because we turn in this report, right? Um, right. So lots more to be done. So, uh, you know, uh, engaging the, the, all the different opinions is the wise thing to do here. Uh, any other comments on this agenda item? Yeah, Mr. Chairman, one other comment. I just wanted to make the rest of the commission aware that in my role as the president of the AP2 Legacy Committee, we created a petition this summer to rename Robert E. Lee Boulevard to Lee Chase that has garnered nearly 40,000 signatures. And I don't, I just wanted to introduce that to the record. Andrew, do I need to get you a copy of that in PDF? Okay. So just for, 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 for uh, form and formality sake, we were moved, we moved on to agenda, agenda item eight, other matters. Okay. So this is under other matters. Go, go, go ahead and finish, please. So I need to, I need to get that to a <laughs> copy of um, all of those signatures and the comments that go with them to Andrew. OK, and did, did you, uh, I, I think uh, I was under the impression that there may have been some something you wanted the commission to consider acting on? There was another matter. So the Jefferson Davis to Norman C. Francis Parkway name change has already been done. Um, and approved by the city council, but there are two existing monuments on the street, on the parkway um, that are still odes to the Confederacy that we are trying to expedite the removal of before we do anything ceremonial uh, in terms of renaming of the parkway. And we were trying to get that done expeditiously. Andrew, is that something that we need to vote on in this in the condition that we can do a separate recommendation to the council immediately yeah i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to double check on that one um because remember the there was an issue about whether or not removing monuments fit within the uh the scope of the commission um right. because this is renaming uh and we're not renaming those things we are taking them down so um let me double check on that and i will get back to you and so I will say this not to renaming it, then the council could act immediately on removing it. Correct? Yeah, then the council reaffirmed that, uh, geez, <laughs> it, a couple months ago, there was a um, there was an action to reaffirm that the council has the power at any point to to simply take those down. Yeah, perfect. And, 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 and I'd say this, Commissioner Raymond, if if you want us to, you know, rec make a uh, a recommendation to the council based on the spirit of what the group is doing. We're certainly willing to support you in that way, but obviously it has no influence over whether they do it or not. Right. right. In terms of, uh, uh, you know, any vote we take, even with the renaming, we have to remember is only, it's only recommendations to them that they may or may not act on. Right. Yep. So, you know, but we're willing to, you know, entertain supporting you in that effort if the, if the commission wishes to do so. Yep. All right, any other matters to discuss? Hearing none, we'll move to agenda item nine, which is adjournment. If there are no further, if there's no further business, we have concluded our agenda and I declare this meeting adjourned. Thank you all very much. Just keep your eyes on your email accounts. Uh, there'll be lots of things going back and forth. Please, if you get the, when you get that survey, fill it out immediately. Um, We'll, Andrew will check to see about getting us a meeting set up early next week to talk about it. Uh, and uh, the other request that I sent you all about your <laughs> engagements, please, please, please get that as soon as possible to us. Thank you very much. One, one more thing, Carl, given that this meeting next week is really important. Um, Andrew, when you find out when there's availability, if we could have some options in terms of times to do it because I have kind of a packed schedule Monday, Tuesday, mm -hmm. Monday, Wednesday, but I did just send you an email about some availability. But anyway, there, there are other slots, but just sooner is better. Yeah. Likewise, agree. 
Okay. And if, if, if this survey is done correctly, it should cut down on our conversation a good bit, right? right? Which is why I'm encouraging people to get it done as soon as they get it, because that'll narrow us down to the things that we really need to, to discuss. Right. Okay. Okay. All, all right. right. Thank you all very much. Appreciate the support, Thanks, Andrew. Everyone. Thank you. Thank you.